Calwen is a dairy farmers cooperative formed in 2000 and now encompassing 25 family run organic farms. Calwen produces butter, cheese, and of course milk under its own brand. And it's available in high street supermarkets across Wales and into the West Midlands. For years, Calwen bottled their milk at other dairies, but now they've come home to West Wales and are bottling here in Whitland. Calwen now process six days a week with milk arriving every morning, leaving the factory here in the afternoon on shelf the following day, meaning that their organic milk travels from the farm to the supermarket in the shortest possible time. We don't think you can get a fresher organic pint anywhere, let alone in South Wales or the West Midlands. Ends rubbish. Oh. Calumwen is a dairy farmers cooperative, formed in 2000 and currently made up of 25... Uh, cuts, cuts. standing by, um, in your own time. Calumwen is an organic dairy farmers cooperative, formed in 2000 and now encompassing 25 family-run organic farms. The crucial thing about the Calumwen operation is that milk travels directly from the family-run farms to the dairy every day, where it's then pasteurised, bottled and leaves the dairy here in a timely fashion to get to supermarkets and stores across South Wales and the West Midlands as quickly as possible. Calumwen's not only about milk, of course. Calumwen milk is also turned into wonderful butter and two great cheeses. But the whole ethos of Calumwen as a cooperative means working together. And it's vital that the way in which the dairy is structured and run fits with the way in which the farms are also producing their milk. So we've got to produce enough customers to balance the milk that they produce. And working in this dairy in this format means that we can get the maximum yield from each of those farms through our eventual customers. Can't be off pat there. Calumwen is an organic dairy farmers cooperative formed in 2000 and now encompassing 25 family run organic farms. They're not huge farms, but they're all run in a very similar fashion. And the great thing about the business we operate today is that milk now travels directly from those farms into the dairy here in Whitland, where it's pasteurised, bottled, labelled, and then distributed to stores across South Wales and the West Midlands within about 24 hours of arrival. I mean that our organic milk is one of the freshest pints you can get on any shelf. But Calumwen's not just about milk, of course. We also produce two wonderful butters and two fantastic organic cheddar cheeses. The whole ethos of the organic farming, of course, is working together. And Calumwen achieved one of the first Soil Association ethical trade symbols a few years ago. It's the first dairy farm cooperative in the UK to achieve that, and I've gone off completely online. All right, okay, that's fine, because I'm going to change frame. So I'll start from Calumwen, it's not just about milk. Yeah. Okay, in your own time. Calumwen isn't just about milk, of course. We also produce a fantastic cream, two organic butters, as well as our fantastic organic cheddar. Calumwen was also the first dairy company in the UK to achieve the Soil Association ethical status. We can't be fair trade here in the UK, but we can still be ethical. And it all has to fit in with the founding farmers' cooperative ideals of working together for the greater good. Okay, goodbye and in your own in your own time. Proper Welsh Milk was set up to bring bottling of milk back to West Wales, specifically this part of West Wales, Whitland. Until quite recently, almost all the milk that we produce here in Wales, and there's plenty of it, was shipped to Middle England for bottling, only to be brought back in lorries the following day. Imagine the food miles consequences of that business is just unbelievable. What we've done is we've gone back to basics put a bottling plant near the farms here in West Wales and then deliver milk straight from here to the back doors of retailers right across Wales, meaning you get a fresher pint. The other important factor with Proper Welsh is that we've gone back to having top of the milk. That's the creamy layer on top of the bottle. And it's part of a process, or rather it's not part of a process, called homogenisation. Something that most dairies do when they smash up the fats in a bottle of milk to give a uniform look. I can assure you that it doesn't actually help the product at all and we think that our creamy layer on top of proper Welsh is a great benefit and something you'll really enjoy drinking. Can I do that again? Almost all milk... No, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, in your own time, okay. still going. Um, 
Proper Welsh Milk was set up in 2011 to bottle milk here in West Wales. That may seem the most obvious thing in the world, but when I tell you that until quite recently, almost all Welsh milk was taken from West Wales to Middle England to be bottled, only to be brought back here, you'll probably understand why we've taken the time and trouble to build a bottling plant back here in Whitland. West Wales is a fantastic place to produce milk. We have great green pastures and pretty high rainfall. But to take that milk miles and miles out of the way only to bring it back really doesn't improve the quality of it at all. And our plant here is trying to ensure that we keep the bottling process as clear to the farms as we can and as near to the consumer as possible. And I made a muck of that. Still got frame and in your own time. Still got frame and in your own time. Bringing the bottling plant back to Whitland here in West Wales was a really important part of our mission. By bottling milk close to the farms, between the farms and the customers, we can take almost 360 miles out of the average journey that a bottle of milk takes to get from farm to your home. Not only have we reduced the food miles in proper Welsh milk, we've also gone back to the top of the milk. That's that creamy layer you get on the top of a milk bottle. The creamy layer is left when we don't homogenise milk. And homogenisation is a recent process introduced in dairying about 20 years ago that blends the creaminess throughout the bottle. It may look pretty, but I can assure you our way is far tastier. So proper Welsh milk not only is good for the environment by reducing food miles, but we also strip out that layer of energy used in the homogenisation process. So we're bringing great tasting quality milk much closer to the consumer. Almost all supermarkets here in Wales sell Welsh milk, but not all of it was bottled here. Much of Welsh milk until recently was taken away from here in West Wales, over the bridge, bottled in England and then brought back a day or so later. Setting up the business of Proper Welsh in 2011, we sought to eliminate that huge gap between field, processor and the eventual customer. We've built a brand new dairy plant here in Whitland to bottle milk as close as we possibly can to the farm and as close as we possibly can to the end user. Milk will arrive here in the morning, be bottled in the afternoon and it can be on the supermarket shelf first thing in the following morning. The other thing that makes our milk different is we have top of the milk. We don't use a process called homogenisation here. Not only is it a very expensive process, using a lot of energy, but it also has that a blending effect in the milk. We like to see the cream rise to the top. It gives a much more satisfying taste. So not only, not only does proper Welsh milk travel less far, but it also tastes much better. Standing by and go for it. Almost all supermarket milk sold in Wales is Welsh, but not all of it was bottled here. Much of it is produced here in West Wales and then was taken to England to be bottled and brought back over the bridge perhaps one or two days later. In 2011, the proper Welsh milk company started building this dairy. We now bottle our own milk here in West Wales. We collect it from the farm in the morning, we bottle it close to the farms and deliver it to the end consumer without that huge mileage in between. No Seven Bridge, no M4. Not only does our milk not travel as far though, we still have top of the milk. That's that creamy layer on top of bottles. Top of the milk is the natural process of cream rising to the top. Shake the bottle to disperse the cream, no problem, or enjoy the creamy layer. The reason we have top of the milk is we don't use a process called homogenisation. It's a very expensive process and uses vast amounts of electricity. And some dairies use it to blend the milk, to give it a standardised look and feel. But we think our top of the milk makes our milk taste much nicer and much creamier. So not only does our milk not travel as far, but we reckon it tastes better too. 